The international break is here, where it's everyone's favorite part of the season, said no one. For today's video, I'm going to break down and talk about Iran's upcoming friendly matches against Bulgaria and Angola. The video is going to be broken into kind of two parts, where first I'm going to talk about Amir Qalanoui's squad selections and then the matches. Oh yeah, and by the way, I will be doing YouTube live watch alongs for both of these matches. It's a good old time where we just talk about Team Melly or whatever football topics that come up. So if you like Iranian national team content leading up to the Asia Cup, where I'm not just going to be talking about Iran, but many other Asian teams leading up to that competition, make sure you're subscribed. So here are the players that Kalanoi has called up, and if you haven't seen this list, make sure to pause the video so you can quickly peruse through. And by no surprise, since his reappointment as the national team manager, his squad selections have been awful. When looking at the goalkeeper selections, why is Hossein Hosseini not in this list? He's been the best goalkeeper in the PGPL, and with now having World Cup experience against England and Wales, where he kind of did shit the bed a little bit against England, but did completely redeem himself keeping a clean sheet against Wales, Wales, he should most definitely be on this list. I know Baron Vaughn was the cult hero of the 2018 World Cup, but we gotta be honest with ourselves here, he's a walking headache now. The only three goalkeepers that I wanna see in our squad selections leading up to World Cup qualifiers and in World Cup qualifiers is Abed Zadeh, Niaz Matt, and Hosseini. Those are the only three goalkeepers that I believe have potential to be the new first choice goalkeeper for this national team. And in my eyes, we gotta start establishing who's gonna be that number one going forward for 2026. The sooner we establish that, get more games under that goalkeeper's belt, the better will be for that World Cup. If we're going to keep diddle-daddling along with Berenvon being in the squad, having all these other random bozo goalkeepers in the squad, we're not going to go anywhere in that department. I know this might be a hot take, but Berenvon should not be playing for this national team anymore. I'm fine with him getting calls, but my guy's one more concussion away from honestly going to retirement. When it comes to the defenders, fuck me, this is such a bad selection of center backs. I've said it a million times, and even at the World Cup, even though Cheshmi did score against Wales, this guy should be nowhere near this national team anymore. This isn't 2018, it's 2023. And when it comes to Danish Gad and Moran Man, how the fuck are these guys getting called up for this team? They're 29 and 30 years old with no caps for this national team. Why the hell are they getting called up right now? This is the thing that is doing my head in when it comes to Amir Galanoi's squad selections. He's calling up players that have no business to be on this national team. Defenders is probably one of our weakest positions minus Majid Hosseini, who I believe is injured right now. And I think I speak for all Iranian fans, we need to be calling up the younger players, especially in these opportunities in these friendly matches where the games just don't really matter. In my opinion, the last few international windows have been a complete waste for this team. Screw calling up all these old head players that have no future with this national team, and just call up young players that actually have a future with this team. Like for example, Saeed Manej, Jalali, Fala, Hasbavi, those are players that should be getting called up to the senior national team. Not f***ing Cheshmi! When it comes to the outside backs, I think that was probably his best selection from the bunch, but as I said, I think Jalali should have been in the squad selection. We don't have many great left backs, and he's really young and does have World Cup experience, as he was the youngest player in our 2022 World Cup squad. Instead of calling up a guy like Vahid Amiri, who's halfway to 70 years old, call up a guy like Jalali, who actually is a future with this team. I know this is getting really annoying of me saying the same thing over and over again. One side note, when it comes to the midfielders, I think we all were a little bit surprised that Odus did get called up to this camp, as he was a free agent two weeks ago until Brentford re signed him, which I think is a huge W, but it is a bit questionable to call up someone that was just a free agent two weeks ago. But I'm most definitely happy that he's back in the national team fold, as he's the only Iranian that currently plays in the Premier League, and I think going forward, he's definitely going to be important for the Asia Cup. So I hope he continually gets called up. And finally, when it comes to the forwards, Mogalu and Asadi should not be in this team. Maybe one or the other, but not both of them. Mogalu was absolute dog poo in our friendlies against Russia and Kenya. And sure, Asadi has had a really good start this season in the PGPL, but these two Two guys are absolutely washed. The only forwards I would have called up is Tadami, which he did. Then it would be Zayadi, who does have European experience, and I know he did go back to Paris Police, but I'd much rather have him in this team. And sure, if you're gonna call up one of the two, it should be Asadi, because he's had a good start to the season. But Simonish has to be the attacker going forward for this team. I know he's already had a pretty rough start with Hull City already getting injured during preseason, and with the links with the Colorado Rapids, it just doesn't really help him that much. And a disclaimer, I know some of our best youngsters did get called up to the U. 23 Asia qualifiers, so I will excuse Kalanoi in this instance, but still, we need to be calling up the young players. And I gotta admit, I'm more excited for the U23 team than I am for the senior team. Moral of the story here is, I've been saying it, and I'll keep on saying it, we need to be calling up the younger players to gain experience for the 2026 World Cup, because most of these guys are absolutely finished and shouldn't be on this team. And when it comes to Kalanoi, I don't rate him one bit, and he shouldn't be the national team head coach. And I wouldn't be surprised if shit hits the fan and he gets fired before the 20. 
2026 World Cup. But now let's talk about the more juicier stuff, the upcoming friendlies. And big shout out to the Iranian Footballing Federation because I do think these two friendlies are actually quite decent. The first match is against Bulgaria in Bulgaria, which I think is an awesome opportunity to play a European team in European soil. The unfortunate part is Bulgaria isn't quite the European powerhouse they once were. The last time they qualified for a major international tournament was the 2004 Euros, and the last time they qualified for the World Cup was in 1994. In this match, I really want Iran to play a free-flowing offensive performance. Let the offensive players really flourish and see what these guys are made of, because in the previous friendlies against Russia and Kenya, I don't think we saw that one bit. It was quite dead tactics, to say the least, so I don't mind if we sacrifice some defensive stability to see how this offense does in a free-flowing fashion. Then when it comes to the match against Angola, it will be played in Iran. The last major competition Angola featured in was in the 2019 AFCON, and the last time they did qualify for the World Cup was back in 06, where they did face off against Iran. We're back in that 06 World Cup. On paper, the game against Angola should have been three points for Iran, but per usual, we fumbled the bag. Angola isn't one of the best footballing African nations, but I will say I am happy to see us face off against an African opponent, because I do think African football is definitely on the come up. So in this match, the midfield is what I'm going to be mainly focusing on, because we got to be honest with ourselves, Iran's midfield sucks. And one of the biggest reasons why is because we're pussies. Our midfielders have zero physicality. I really want to see how Eze Tolahi and Karimi do in a midfield pairing, and I think the match against Angola would be the proper test to do it. Karimi's been killing it this season in the Turkish league, and Eze Tolahi is just kind of doing his thing in Denmark. But boys and girls, my opinion only matters so much. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. One of the biggest names that did not get selected was Asmoon, as he just signed for Italian Giants AS Roma, and he wants to focus on coming back from his injury that he sustained in preseason. If you guys want my opinions on his new adventure in Italy, make sure to go check out this video next. Make sure to smash the like button on today's video, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and I hope you all have a lovely day.